Cancer. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly re uh, reading for April 5th through the 11th. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I had to pause the channel so that I can do my other creative um, outlets, which is to create the Tarot Study Journal. Uh, finally, put my personal card, card creation, my Oracle card deck online. I also opened my own metaphysical shop. Um, the website is on the bottom of your screen. Uh, please, if you can, take a moment to take a look at what I've been doing and what my creation is. Also, my medical physical shop has cards, crystals, tarot cloths, pendulum boards, you know, anything magical you need, bells, um, pendulums, scrying kits, uh, ritual kits, which I will be reviewing on this channel next week. So let's just jump right into it and see what our overarching message is. This is my majors only deck. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I, I tend to always respond. Um, it may not be right away, but I, I make it my purpose to do that. So we have the Hierophant card. Um, it's about traditions. It's about um, expectations. It's about um, religious practices. Um, a lot of people have a negative connotation with this card because it can mean a dogmatic uh, routine for you and you may be on your own spiritual journey so um, I feel like the message here is a warring of uh, your spiritual journey versus what you're trying to learn or accomplish right now and marrying the two I mean I've had to do it I was raised Catholic um, and then I also have my spiritual side and and to me they complement one another I, you know they don't fight each other and I think for many of you Cancerians you, you, you're needing to find that balance in you right because you have been through difficult times and a lot of difficulties emotionally you're drawing from a well but you're feeling like the well is empty or it's it's just about being empty um, so you've been going through some tough times and this is why we have this Hierophant card present here. So finding that connection spiritually um, for you is important during this time. So I'm using my Light Series deck here. So I'll be pu pulling three cards, Subconscious, Conscious, and Advice from Spirit. And then I will also use my Martin Witch Tarot um, to get from to get some further clarification. Subconsciously, we have the Seven of Swords here, right? So the Seven of Swords, um, it's about running away. It's about feeling betrayed, you know? It's about being on guard and the anxiety of always waiting for the other shoe to drop. And this is where you're at right now in your subconscious mind, which is why you're fe fe feeling depleted and questioning your spirituality at this time. Double sevens, right? So let's go to my little cheat sheet here. So double sevens, luck is on your side. You, you're the, you're on the ultimate spiritual path. You know, that's literally what um, the sevens mean numerically, right? When we start seeing angel numbers, this is about your spiritual path. This is also what the Seven of Wands is about, finding yourself, centering um, yourself, you know, it's it's finding that fire again. So wands are creativity, um, passions. Here we have the Knight of Wands, right? And the advice column slash outcome. So this is seeking someone with with knowledge and strength, right? This is someone who's gonna help you on your journey. Could be a Leo or another fire sign or someone with those characteristics um, who's gonna help you on your journey. I'm being told to keep with this deck. So we're gonna keep with this deck. I was gonna switch to the other one, but I, they want me to keep drawing here. Clarifying the seven of swords, we have the emperor card. Now the emperor card could mean a person, but I think it's you. 
I think this is you coming into who you are, right? Realizing that you do have strength, you do have the ability to overcome um, what it is you're going through at this time, right? That's the power you need to invoke to move past whatever it is that you're going through. We have three strengths cards. So we have strength in someone close to you. It's seeking strength uh, and asking for help from others, right? Because we can't always do things by ourselves. It's realizing, right, in our conscious mind, you are strong. You have infinite, this is the infinity sign. You have infinite power. The well is not empty. You may be feeling like that. You wait, oh, what's gonna happen now? When is it gonna end? That's the feeling you're having, but you do have the strength. The well is not empty. Find your spiritual center, your core, um, to move forward and move past whatever that feeling is, right? And the advice from spirit is to ask for help. You don't know how to ask for help, Cancer. You can't keep it all on your shoulders. So if you ask for help, if you seek strength from others, here's the change of fortune for you, right? You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm gonna use my seven, um, my seven energies oracle cards. Here's the call of the muse. Call of the muse is, is finding your passions again. It's, it's finding your spiritual path, right? I love that the, the rainbow here is highlighted for me, which is Archangel Raziel coming in to bring you knowledge and strength. Um, so for me, uh, uh, th that Archangel is present for you, Cancer. Um, if you're not familiar with the Archangels, I suggest you look them up because this is a strong pair, uh, spiritual path you're on. You have the Hierophant card. Archangel Raziel is here, is present for you. It's telling you to find that passion. Lean on your spirituality. Learn to lean on people you trust to bring you comfort. And that is your reading, Cancer, for April 5th through the 11th. I'm Delilah Rose, and this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.